increase in profit of 6,4 million rand. How are you feeling about the results? Actually, we're pleased with the result. Um, the market is still very tight, and it's, it's a difficult market. So to come out with a, a good, what we call a good steady result has actually been very nice. And what are the key reasons behind this result? Um, previously, we said that we needed to uh, sort out our productivity, and that we managed to do, particularly on the two mines where we've had good results. And at the same time, I think we've managed to make good inroads into the market, in certain sectors of the market, which has helped improve our result. Now, you've had a lot of developments, expansions. Can you elaborate on those? Um, we, over the past few years, we've kept the expansion, expansions going, um, particularly in plant and equipment. And in a, in a sort of a mining context, there's always, you're always feeding money into that side. It's always hungry for, for money. Um, and we've kept that going. That's certainly shown dividends in the fact that the plant that we got in terms of the productivity has improved. At the same time, we, for this last financial year, we did put money down into a facility down in uh, KZN um, at Tongard for our silica operation to be able to supply our clients down there. Okay, so you've invested in the last two years 60 million rand into CAPEX. Are you seeing those results? Well, most certainly. Um, you know, you have to get the business correct. You've got to get it balanced, and I think that's what we've been working on, and that's what we see in the fruits of at the moment. And you've, you've executed the um, operations at the Cullinan resource? Um, the Cullin, well, we've, we've just been granted the prospecting right in the, at Cullinan, which is a, a silica deposit, um, which is an add-on for uh, Delft Silica. That'll be a new mine which we're going to focus on. It has what we believe around 8 million tons of resource of high-grade silica. And that over the next year and a half, we'll start developing and start doing the planning for, for that operation. And the investment that you um, had in the capital and the infrastructure and the resources, how has that changed your production? Um, we've seen a marked increase in our production at two of our mines, particularly at the Littleton Centurion mine. Um, there we had a 15% increase in, in volume. Um, and particularly we did very well at our Marble Hall mine, um, which is a limestone mine, which had around a 47% 40, increase in in volume that we've had through the plant. So in, in tonnage terms, we've been able to, through the, the whole group, to increase our tonnage by roughly 250,000 tons, which is around about an 18% increase in tonnage output that we've been able to get through the plants. And the World Cup, um, that's, uh, there's obviously been a lag since the World Cup. How, how are you dealing with that? Um, we do feed into the construction market. It is a sector that, that we deal in. It's a very volatile market. Um, Obviously, the, the, the World Cup and the stadiums has helped us through in the past financial year. But going forward, we still see that as, as a difficult market. It's not an easy market to work in. Um, there's a lot of unknowns in the market. But I think where we are situated, and we always have said that in terms of our, our Littleton Centurion mine, we're well placed for, for any growth in that area. And in 2009, you closed down your brick-making division. Uh, what bearing has this had on your strategic plan going forward? Well, Infrasource is a mining company, and the brickworks, what we had, was not really part of our vision. Um, we've consolidated it into the three mines, and I think that's been focused on the three mines, which is our core expertise. And I think that's shown dividends, certainly in, in the past year or so. So in terms of our revenue, which has grown 18 15%, um, we certainly made up for, for any uh, loss of revenue that we had through the brickworks. How are you giving your investors assurance going forward? Um, we see the markets fairly steady in terms, particularly of we feel feed into the metallurgical market. Um, and that's been fairly steady. It's been slowly, you know, taking up, having an uptake. Volatility in the constru construction market is a concern, but I think what we've shown in the past year that in terms of being able to penetrate the markets, um, and get the volumes to the plant, we still remain confident that we'll be able to at least remain on the same track as what we have been now in this past financial year. And with your plans going forward, do you have plans for expansion? Um, the only expansion that we'll do through the next financial year will be our concentration on the Cullinan mine, which is out at Broncos Bait, which is the, the silica deposit which we want to develop.